Hey, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks. And in this video, I'm going to show you a tool called Missing Letter, which really helps your blog posts get a ton more visibility by automatically scheduling content about it to go out over the course of a year. So you just publish your blog posts. It generates a whole bunch of content for you. Um, I think like nine different pieces that you can customize a bit and then it will automatically send them out and you can pick which profiles to do it to. So I'm going to show you with one blog post how that looks. Now I'm in my main dashboard here for Missing Letter. So once you set up an account, you'll have your dashboard. You might have some different features depending on which plan you get. I have, I think it's called the personal plan which lets me post to a few different profiles and do a few other things. So what I'm going to do is grab a blog post first. Now, once you publish a blog post, you will get an email once it pulls it up. It, so Missing Letter will automatically pull it up and you'll get an e email saying they've created content for you to share. But in this case, I'm just going to grab a recent blog post, uh, grab that URL and get it get missing letter to generate it right away. So I'm going to go into campaigns at the top here. And then I'm going to click on add blog post right next to it. And I can just enter the URL. So you can do this for old blog posts as well as uh, as well as it having automatically pull things up whenever you post a new one. So this is now it says we're busy doing clever things. So it says, great, looks like a valid URL. Did we get the title right? Um, you can, so you can edit the title and it's not going to send anything until you approve everything. So it's going to create the campaign and look, 30 seconds. <laughs> it actually took a lot less than that for that to do it. And it says, we'll email you when the campaign is ready. So I'm going to pause this and then come back once I've gotten that email. Okay, so I've gotten the email and this is what it looks like. Hello, Sharon, your campaign's ready. What's next, etc. Um, they've created a pre-rolled social marketing campaign for, for over the next 12 months. So you just click on review slash reject campaign and it's gonna open up missing letter again and it's gonna show you everything and walk you through the process of approving it. So firstly, they generate some hashtags and they'll give you ratings. So they pull, look at the content in the article and then give you some suggestions. And you can just delete the ones that don't make sense at all. Um, the article is about social media reputation and stuff online. So actually none of these are great and you can put in your own and it will it will tell you, let's see, I'm going to say social media reputation and see what it says. Is that even a good hashtag? So it calculates the popularity for you. And that just takes a second. So that's not a good hashtag at all. Content marketing is good. Let's see what online reputation is because a lot of this is about, is about online reputation. So huh, that one also is not great. So I'm just going to leave one of the ones they suggested. They do say between one and three, and then I'm going to click on, okay, let's review content. So it's going to head over there for a second. Okay. So it says it's got the drip marketing campaign ready, and I'm going to be able to review the content. They, this is a little bit of details. They've got it set for 12 months. There are nine posts they've suggested to send out on day zero, three, seven, 14, and so on. They've made 33 text suggestions. Eight images were found in the post. So the more images you have in the post, the better because the missing letter automatically pulls those in as some of the suggested content for your social media. And then it's got these social profiles set up, which I have set up in my account for it to post to, but I can pick and choose which ones I actually want to post to. That's actually a feature they, they um, recently added. So then you just have to go through and edit or approve any of the posts they've suggested. The only note here is over on the left, you'll see there's one box that says edit the default content. So that first lot is the default content for all, or you can go into each one and edit the content for that particular profile. And the one caveat is on Facebook. You'll see there's some red lines there. 
Facebook requires you to manually put it in. So what you can do on these is you can copy the text and if you edit that at the top, it'll, it'll automatically change. Then you can paste it on in and then you can go and edit this if you want. So the way this works is they will pull text from the actual article and then you can edit it. You can change what shows up on the left and really pretty much anything you want to do, but you're at least starting with something. In some cases, you don't have to do anything to it. So on this one, they've, I'm going to go back up to the top. Actually, I'm going to approve this first. All right, so you click save once you've edited anything. Now I'm going to go back up to the default, which is what posts on everything. And it says, find out how to build a five-star social media reputation with our free downloadable cheat sheet. Now that's not really the best for the first day of an article release. So I'm going to see what else they've suggested here. And there's arrows here. You can just go over and see different things they pull out. So they pull out a lot of good quotes. And right now, none of them actually say, here we go, check out our new article. So that's perfect for a first day. And I'll just leave that as is. And the image it pulled out is from the top of the post. So that's perfect. And I will just leave that one as is. You can also change the date when it'll post at the very, at the very end, you can say when you want the campaign. So then you're just going to go through and do that for all of them. So here's another hot off the press for day three that works fine. So that's kind of standard stuff, but at the image, what they've done here is this bubble. So you can take an image from the tech, from the post, you can use just text in this, um, so that you don't have anything showing. Right. I always like to have an image or you can have a bubble where it pulls a quote from the text. So over in the bottom left here, you'll see quote and it pulls some image for a background. So I can change the background to really anything I want that they just, again, pull stuff from the actual post itself. Yeah, none of them are brilliant in this case. I'll just leave a generic one. And then we have, let's see what the quote is. Stop looking at your social media presence this is a way to sell and start looking at it as a way to build relationship. So that's fine. That works. And then I just keep going, except remember to change the Facebook one again. So that's the only pain. That's one of those Facebook things that you just have to deal with and you have to save it. And you go through and do that all the way through. You want to change the images to different things change the the quotes in there and then when you're all done when you've done everything you'll just click finished final step so i'm going to go back through and do some of the edits to these okay so i've gone through and edited where i wanted to edit and picked images and whatnot and you'll see that uh, there's something on day zero three seven fourteen thirty ninety 180, 270, and 365. So over the course of the year, spread out. And I'll be able to say when I want it to start in the next one. So when you're all done, you can click on finished, final step. It'll save everything. And then it takes me to the final screen for approving everything. It says, okay, I've got nine pieces of content for the next 12 months, and I can set a start date. And if you have a team, you can get it reviewed by someone. You can even, if you, it's time sensitive, you can have a stop date. So I'm going to set this to start tomorrow, which, you know, I'm recording this the day before I want it to start. And, um, I can also have this go on to medium with, with my particular account, the personal account, I can turn this on. So I'm going to turn that on and show you also. And that was all I had to do. I've already set up my Medium account, so that automatically will post there also. And then you just click on Activate Campaign. The campaign is approved, and it is added to my list saying when I will be posting. You can see I have a lot here, so I do this for every single blog post. And I can even see in, my, in a calendar view when things are going to go out. So this is, an, this is a good thing to do too, is 
look at the calendar view and see whether you have too much going out at once. I didn't do this before and I realized that I had too much going out on certain days, whereas I could have gone in and edited that. So moving forward, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I can just go ahead the next month and I'll see there doesn't seem to be two things on any one day, which is great. And I can just keep going through and check that. So check that every so often. I think I might go through and move a couple of these. And that's it for Missing Letter. Take a look at it. I think you'll enjoy it as a way of getting a lot more visibility for your blog posts.